Okay, so welcome to the walkthrough on how to collect the morphometric points from the fish. Uh, I'll just take you through what we need to download and the steps to follow. So first thing we want is to download ImageJ. So you can just Google ImageJ, it'll come up, go through, follow the instructions. I should have also sent you a link on the written walkthrough here as well. So you can use that. Um, we also want to download a click coordinates tool. Hopefully I will have sent this to you already, but if not, you can again just Google this. Um, all this little text file will come up here. Just copy all of that and save it into a notepad, and that'll do the job. Okay, so once you've got ImageJ installed, you can open it up. Um, search it there, there we are. And the toolbar should come up for us. Um, there we are. Okay, so yep, we want to add that click coordinates call. Cool. There's a next step. So we can go on plugins macros and install and go to wherever you had it saved just double click and you can see it's added this little icon here for us next thing we want to do is just change a couple of settings on that so basically just make sure all these boxes are ticked and it'll be doing the job we want okay so next we can open up um, our first image so if we go on file open and find whatever image you want to analyze where you have it saved so we can start with this one here and your image will come up so we might need to rotate the image as well. So if you go on image, transform, and this one just 90 degrees left will do the job. There you go. And you want to get the fish as big as you can on your screen so you can see all the details. Um, so you can just zoom in how you would on anything else with your mouse. Um, and you can use this grabby tool here to move it around. Um, I think this image had a little play earlier and that's pretty much the best thing we're going to get because it's a bit too long once I zoom in the first time. Um, Okay, so one last thing as well that really helps is if you turn up the brightness on your screen uh, all the way or as comfortable as you find it, and that really brings out some of the points we need to see on the fish. So next thing we can do is calibrate our line tool. So if we click on this tool here, uh, we want to start right at the beginning of the tape measure. So this five centimeter mark will do here and go as far along as you can manage. So 45 centimeters will probably do it here. Try and get this bang on as you can. Um, and then we want to go on to analyze set scale and what we're going to do is put in that known distance here so that's 45 centimeters minus 5 so 40 and centimeters as a unit here and we can click OK make sure some of the tape measures have inches and centimeters on them so make sure you get centimeters as well um, okay so we can now take our first length so that length is going to be right from the very tip of the top lip of the fish here all the way along to where this rear fin, the caudal fin, joins the body. It's, it can be a bit subjective like you can see on this fish here. We'll take our best estimate and you'll see when I draw that line, the length should come up about here on the toolbar. So let's go for that. Um, and yep, yeah, right in the middle for the standard length this is. And you can see up there that length 33.8 has come up on the toolbar. If you move the mouse, it does disappear. Um, but if we just remember that, and go over to our Excel to write it in. Um, you also want to make sure you've got your fish ID put in place there. So um, that's the name of uh, fish here. I've got the image saved as that. Um, so make sure you get this one in right. Right, and we can take our next length now. So we can just grab the end here and go all the way to the end of a caudal fin. Um, oh, I'll need the toolbar up again. I'll just draw that line again, click off, and there we go, all the way to the end. If it's a fork tail, just go to the bottom of the fork and you can see we've got a length there, 39.16 has come up. So again, I can put that in the Excel, 39.16. Okay, so we've got the two lengths we want. Next thing we can do, start collecting the landmark coordinates. So we're going to click on the click coordinates tool here and I'll take you through each of the 15 points we want. They're also saved in here on the walkthrough um, at the bottom here. So if you need that, you can check that out. So first one we want is going to be in the same place um, at the start of that top lip. And you can see I've clicked and now these coordinates have been saved into this results window here. So these will be added as we go. Um, I'll click onto the next one and that will go to the back, which is just where the two lips join on the inside of the mouth here. Um, if the mouth is shut, go for the same point. And then the next one we want is right in the middle of the eye, number three, about there. And then the next two can again be a little bit subjective. So this is where the head connects at the bottom and the top. So you can see a nice little indent here. It's pretty clear. So we can click there 
and we can zoom in and you can see just sort of a line runs where it might connect here so if we just click there um, but on some fish this isn't so visible so just take your best estimate um, and then when we come to look at the results some of these we can take out so the next point we want to take is where this pectoral fin connects to the body here right at the top left of the connection so just click again and then the ventral fin um, we want or the pelvic fin I believe that is um, we just want to click again right at the top left where that connects there we go and then the anal fin where it connects right at the front and the back again you might want to zoom in there um, I had a look at this one earlier so about there we'll do it and then we want the bottom of where the caudal film joins so might have to be your best estimate again but just go for it then the middle so that'll be about where this line is and the top of where the caudal film joins the body like that then the next one we want is the very last point of the dorsal fin so that was about here on this fish um, if there's multiple dorsal fins you just want the rear of the furthest back fin and then we want the front of the furthest forward fin where it connects and then we also want the highest point of the fish now this one's pretty flat some of them it might be more obvious but um, what does help is if you might need to tilt your head a little bit for some as well if they're a bit angled um, so the highest point if you just tilt your head a tiny bit to the right is probably about here so that should be all our coordinates now they'll all be in this results window here so what we want to do is just highlight all of these Control c to copy and Control v into the excel uh, give that a save and that's all the coordinates so you can now close down um, the image and the results window no need to save it's in the excel it should all be good um, and then you can open up your next image and start on that one uh, one thing to bear in mind if you when you start on the next image is you'll need to recalibrate your line tool to the tape measure on the next image because it will be using the one from the last one so make sure you do this again so it's correct um, yes yeah, so thank you for watching those should be all the instructions you need feel free to have a look through this walkthrough as well um, just as a few points and some problems you might come up as well but yeah hope that makes sense <clears throat>